we never did. So guess what? There are only fans touching each other. How you know that? They getting clowned online. <laughs> Wait, how did you go that? Touche, yes. <laughs> what that mean? She been twerking in her videos pregnant. Her sex tape didn't even go platinum. Or, she had a, how do you know these things? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> what the hell you talking about? Since I'm the only thing to talk about, been here from the start. Nah, I don't want your awards. Keep your applause. That was... That part right there, I'm like, how do you give a complete stranger control over somebody, over another human being that they don't even know? Like, all of their things, all of their belongings, all their money, all of their, where they can go, who they can talk to. How a complete stranger, as opposed to going to somebody that is in their family, a, close to, next to Ken. Your mind doesn't seem like wills or anything else. If you're not of sound body your mind, then somebody else. And you didn't write nothing up yet? And if you don't have already have in place. Yeah. But why not go to your family first? They, why are you going to the state to a, can decide whatever they want to decide? That's what I'm saying. That's crazy to me. I had no idea that they could do that. Okay, so like, let's say you let's say you pass, right? What people don't understand this is why a will is important, and, and more so a trust. You need a trust, but a will is important to kind of direct where your assets will go. If you don't have that in place, your kids won't even get the money. Yeah, because you also have to understand, like outside of that, like it's not as though just because they're blood that they have your best interests as well. Right, but I mean, you you don't you didn't even give them a chance to 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 prove that they don't have your best interest. You literally cut them out and went and got a stranger to come take care of this person. You didn't even give their family a chance to say, "Hey, you know, we can do this," or you know, whatever. You literally gave it to a so complete stranger. So, what's the story with that? How did that? Per who's the person that got picked for Wendy? We don't know who the guardian is. The complete. There's no name. This person is anonymous. Like. Mm. Court of sign is not like a family member or a cousin or no, somebody that's sign. legal that's related. Okay. Um, and from what I'm gathering is that her children or her, close, child. her child and um, like other. Her niece. I know I've seen her niece. I saw her nephew yeah. and I saw her child. Like they're concerned. Yeah. Um, and they also, they, they kind of all three have different stances as well from what I remembered. Like. Well, two of them are like, yo, give mom back her money. She like, you know, she's of capable sound mind. One is like, hey, there's waves, you know, um, it was what sucks. I think what stood out to me about this whole thing was like, yo, like because of how Wendy has lived her life, the remorse that people feel is so conflicted. Like some people are looking at it as like, this Do is karma. Mm -hmm. Um and then other and then there's the other side of like once again this is still like an unfortunate story because i believe she's been diagnosed with a, uh some form of uh, yeah she has like frontal lobe dementia the same thing that bruce willis has yeah um bruce willis sick yeah he stopped doing movies he's really what? sick he's like really sick like don't cut no. like his family he doesn't even he's not on camera anymore sick yeah, yeah you're not gonna see him you, yeah, you're not going to see him on nothing. Yeah, nowhere. Bruce Willis. Yes. Die hard Bruce Willis. Yes, die hard Bruce Willis. Because uh, apparently in this... Uh, what the frig? Well, so like... Well, dementia is aggressive, period. Like, and dementia isn't something... I, honestly, I don't think that scientifically they really know where it, where it comes from. It just they know it just comes with age. It's yeah. just like Alzheimer's. It's something that just comes with. It's not like it's something that precipitates it. Like a lot of people were saying, "Oh well, this is from her husband doing her dirty." And I'm like, heartbreak is not going to give you frontal lobe dementia. Well, I'm not. I'm not medical, so I can't really combat on that level. I do think that things can be sped up and can be induced by stress. Um, the same way that, like, I have a friend that uh, um, he kind of, like, mentally, like, lost his mind. Um, and everybody thought it was he just smoked a bad batch of weed. Yeah, same thing with me. Conversation with um, a fellow friend who's closer in that type of field. And she's like, yo, like, things that people are not pe really considering, that stuff might have been dormant. Yeah. yeah. And they're just like, yo, For just sure. one thing can, like, really. Bruh, yeah, it's a breaking point. I'll tell you this without saying the person's name. Same thing happened, bro. Traumatic loss happened in this person's life. Then they it, uh, they happened to be smoking weed, and then 
it's like you attribute it to the weed and it's like nah like if you really spin back like all the, like yeah, that one thing could just happen and it's like episode begin but that's how people have psychotic breaks literally yeah you have a you, we agree. you don't know you know you don't know until it happens and yeah. you're just like oh my god like i really just lost my mind like so i get it but i'm like people people just are like oh my god that's where it came from. i'm like no this wasn't something that was built right i'm like no this is something that was building but that's just up idiots talking so we can't really and of course i'm like yes yeah. it aggravates it stress stress but these are just fools talking it's not number on your body period i'm like but like you said like i not that i don't feel remorseful for her because dementia is i feel more bad for it her family and her friends and people that actually know her because you're watching somebody regress right. and you're, you, you, it's just, it's the, the scariest and the saddest thing ever because they go from being an adult to regressing back to a child or they'll be stuck in one specific time frame and that's just what they keep on talking about they won't remember you they won't you know they, they get aggressive or they get mean or whatever and it's like but because Wendy is who she is and she was always very blunt and very nasty off the rip when she is being herself. Mm. You don't know Let's, if she's like in an episode or if she's actually of sound mind and looks, being herself. She looks insane. Is it the character or the person? But now the guardianship, I just want to give you all details. So mm -hmm. um, New York lawyer Sabrina Morrissey. The reason why she was identified recently because she filed a lawsuit against Lifetime, yeah, Lifetime. Yep. for the, the family outing her basically, right? <laughs> Now, here's what remember I said in a in a previous podcast. I don't like covering things like when it's hot off the press because right. obviously there's going to be some new information that comes out. People playing people playing games, blah blah. And what we're realizing, like Wendy could be putting this out to kind of do what kind of what Britney Spears benefited from. It's almost like she tried to get that. But like you said, the audience is is kind of split where Britney experienced massive love, protest, like, nah, we got free this like you, her dad can't have this much control. You know what I'm saying? But now I don't think I think where Wendy messed up is like, yeah, let's put the documentary out. I wanna speak. I'll have my family on my side. But I don't think she she probably misjudged how dirty she really played the industry and people are not really on her side. And I don't want to, I don't, I think that's a good angle to kind of flesh out a little more like, but I, I lean towards more it being this documentary being more authentic in the sense of the fact that like the original purpose of that documentary was to record her comeback. It wasn't actually supposed to be documenting. Oh, um, really? Yeah. It was because she had the whole, um, you know, the sudden cancellation and leaving. And it was supposed to be a documentary of like her efforts to get back into the game um, better than ever, you know, or whatever. But because of the process of her trying to like heal herself, this is where all this stuff started to come out. We're like, oh, this is way more serious than yeah. just you had an episode. Like there's a, a health situation happening. And so it changed the trajectory of the original like set up so the whole reason why this even they have that this oh, so recorded like document story. is because this is supposed to record like oh this yeah. is behind the scenes of me coming back. yeah but then when I you sit you. back and you watch it you like nah you say oh she <laughs> like you're not well you are you unwell yeah. like and i mean and that's probably why her guardian is trying to sue but it's like you sue them for what because the truth is coming out you don't want you don't you don't want people to see Wendy like that, but they need to see her like that. This is the this is the the, the truth, and it ain't nobody else behind it but Wendy. So are you trying to say okay she wasn't of sound mind when she made this decision? But you who, what, who to make who, the documentary? Yeah, who can say that? That's what I'm saying. It, it, yo, okay, so y'all y'all believe? Let's be careful because uh, I'm I'm talking to myself. <laughs> and also as a point like as of right now of like the well, we last know. month of february of 2024 yeah. I'm, I'm under the understanding that wendy williams as best as we know her is is of still a sound mind and okay you know like it's not as though like yo she's already like who are you who are you like i don't uh, think she's in that space right now uh, i don't think I, she's I, healthy I, I think she is in i don't that think space. she's healthy yeah, yeah. I don't know even, about that. Even the I, clip, I don't, I'm the just clip, saying unhealthy. The clip that I saw with Black China, okay. I don't think she recognized. She never said when Black China was talking to her. She sat in there sat at the days and she was like, 
she asked her something or said something to her and she was like my name is wendy didn't recognize who black china was she just hey, looking at her yo. like oh okay so she is absolutely <laughs> at that point where she has those moments where she don't even know who she's talking to I guarantee that's probably what's happening. We don't know how often it is, but that's 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 how it goes with dementia. You start to not realize who you're talking to. So this the other part. I, I love the Wendy and Britney parallel because, like, to me, I don't think Britney Spears is healthy. No, I'm I also I'm not an avid like. It's hard to keep up with her. Well, not hard, but I don't. Fam, the dance moves on Instagram in the videos. Is she still gotta, out here? Like, I I haven't seen Britney Spears in. I don't even know the last time I saw her. She's not, yeah, she's not, I don't, she's not like out. No, 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 not, no, you her know, Instagram not, is crazy. Yeah, I don't even, I don't, I, Sorry but the thing about it is, I don't follow Wendy. I don't, if, if this wasn't on TikTok, I would never know about this with Wendy Williams either. You're right. I don't, I don't follow it. So, with Britney, is it, has there been a better circle around her to not have all this kind of like stuff be as consistent in regard to her health? Like, her, if we talk about her Instagram account, it has it been has there been a lot of posts over the last year for no. us to be able to pull from? No, but the dancing, the black eyes, the you, it just doesn't look right. Now with her, I I think what unfortunately happened is I don't know, man. I think I I don't think the dad was a bad guy. You know what I'm saying? I think he just wanted to protect his daughter and. I would have loved to see more uh, expenditures that came out of the conservatorship. Like, was he being real reckless with the bread or something? But it just seems like she's not ready to take care of all of this. And at least I'm in control. Now, how he took control is a little bit weird. How the moms are involved is a little bit weird. I understand. But um, it didn't seem like she missed a meal or she things are not paid for. The lights is on and everything like that. Now... Mm. Son's not in the picture. All this stuff. It's, it's, it gets it gets really crazy with 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 Brittany. Now on the Wendy side, I forgot how how old her son is. He's he's at least twenty something. Okay, and so they weren't the talking. Dog. They weren't talking for seven years. I think they just okay. recently started. That's great. On the show, she would talk about being with her son all the time. Yeah, but I think that she was also that's probably part of her. You know, sometimes you try to keep certain things private so you make it look like it's something that it's not. That's true, I, really, I really think she has two sons. He that's he's her only son. Yeah, I thought she only had one with the she dude. She only has one. She doesn't have two. The other one that you're seeing on there, the other guy that you're seeing on the documentary is her nephew. Okay, she only got one son, and she talks about she talked about him all the time on the yeah, show. She, and you could be right because even on the show, you didn't know this dude had a whole gr- her, her man had a whole girlfriend, and she was going through some crazy stuff. Yeah, I I don't yeah, and I think that she also for her went the way that she was with the talk show being a talk show host like she would put her like project her stuff with everybody else that's why she was so vocal as she was with everybody else because she knew her life was in shambles so now i can make sure i come at everybody else and call everybody else all these names but (laughs) really deep down inside she probably felt that way about herself but she also know the bed that she laid in for sure so i think that gives a different like tone compared to britney spears where like when we're talking about somebody that's kind of, it's kind of like when uh we when you're younger and it's just like yo like if I clown myself first, like you making the same joke, it ain't gonna work. It ain't, it gonna, gonna, do it. It ain't gonna affect as much. Yeah. Yeah. And also like if I'm joking on everybody, I can't be oblivious to think that somebody ain't going to start joking yeah, on me for sure. So like I think she she was of the that concept during this period of documentary where she like yo like it's going to come out either way. Yeah, so I'm going to get ahead of it. Outside of, outside of like controlling it, it's just like, yo, like, I'm not trying to shy away from what look will make me look bad. Right. Because I haven't shied away of making other people look bad. Yeah. Well, we could, but can we talk about the, the real lesson in this? Because, like, I want to go back to what you're saying. The show, when he put up a facade, right? Mm-hmm. I remember, vi- I used to watch Wendy Williams. So, yeah, all the time. Would have never thought. Ashley would tell you. Uh, late for work. Really? Watch Wendy Williams. Yep. Wow. It just happened to be on at an odd hour. Or? Yep. Okay. Went to the show. Did you? Yep. Wait, like in person? Yep. Wow. Oh no! Like you're invested. Yep. You a fan? Why? I don't know. It's just chaotic TV. I just like these personalities. So, and once again, I'm not following Wendy Williams' advice, but I'm sure there's some women that do. 
And that's the crazy part about it. You're talking <laughs> about take this man's money, blah, blah, blah. And somebody taking your, your money. Let's have a moment. I mean. Let's have a moment to really just think about these people that we like put into our lives. And, and I did. Put into our lives on a day to day. And then you actually follow what these people say. They have none of your interests at heart. They just yeah, want to get the ratings up and all these never, things. Yeah, I was never and they don't care about you. And their life is in shambles. And you listen to them every day. Yeah. And I, I was never. Wild. I was never a Wendy fan, but you never want to see somebody um, go out. I would per, I would have preferred for her to go out without it being on camera. No, she should have been retired. Like I always not, thought. No, but I mean, not even retiring. I'm talking nah. about this documentary. I nah, would. Nah, nah, I don't. Nah, nah. I wish that this wasn't she something did, that her. This is this is a cash grab. She's just trying to garner oh, yeah. some attention. But what I th- what I've always thought Wendy should have done is she should have had the show. Um, even before the medical issue, she should have already been standing. This is what I hate about our culture. She should have been standing up three girls already, ready to do their own show on. You're on ABC. You're on CBS. Um, you're on. You're on YouTube. I'm on Fox, and this is the network. You run your neighborhood talk. Your lipstick alley. Your lip service. Like this is what I I hate about like how we are. We we want to suck and just take the the attention for ourselves, and rather than I have this skill set, I'm gonna teach everybody do and you, how to build a business. Do you think and then that, keep my empire going? I could retire and just be sick and be do whatever. Do you think that's a woman thing or a man thing? I think that's a people thing. Oh, okay. I think that's a people thing, and I, and I also think in particular to Wendy Williams. Are we assuming that Wendy was? Had reached her peak, like do you think Wendy you felt as though she been, reached her peak? I think when when Wendy went to TV, she should have already seen that I'm gonna bring somebody through radio. I'm gonna bring somebody through YouTube. I'm gonna bring some like that's how you gotta think. Sorry to go through Dave Ramsey again. I remember, I remember the exact time when this guy he was on his show by himself, right? Then he bring he bring his uh, daughter on sometimes do some like you know we're gonna do DIY stuff. All of a sudden, dog. He got a black dude doing college talk. He got another big black dude talking about retirement. He got another white dude talking about job placement. And he got a, another younger kid doing like street interviews. And I look at I'm look, I'm looking at Ashley like, yo, he's about to retire. She's like, nah, no, that's impossible. Blah blah. I'm like, fam, he's, he's setting, setting up these up, personalities yeah. so he can retire. And and then he switched the show from the Dave Ramsey show to the Dave Ramsey Network. And now all of these other people have shows. I think it's the selfishness of it. Like, I think that you don't want to, while you're in it, you're like, it's the ego. Yeah, and it, a, but then guess what happens? It stops with you. I mean, yeah, that's... that's Clearly, you're sick now. You well, I mean, nothing. it doesn't stop with her. Now, there's just going to be somebody else that's going to replace her because now She's you not have, get, No, no, no. You're not see what I'm saying. She's not going to get the money. Oh, yeah, no. She, yeah. It stops. Right. It's done. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, a dub. I, yeah. That's what I meant by replacing Had you had too, the so. W Network or the Wendy Network or whatever, like, look what Oprah's doing with... I'm I'm pretty sure Oprah's invested with Tyler Perry. I'm pretty sure Oprah's in, invested with Gail, and she has the tentacles and a lot of things. And you know she's invested. She's propping people up. Doctor Phil, uh, uh, Rachel, something, whoever is making the cooking stuff. Like she has different personalities that we're not even seeing. I guarantee you. This is another thing y'all don't y'all don't know. Paris Hilton is responsible for Kim Kardashian, yeah. and if you don't think. Kim Kardashian is paying reparations or some taxes sure. back Absolutely. to Paris Hilton. You're wild. I think that the thing. What do you mean by? I'm sorry. Yeah. No, no. No. I got you. What do you mean by like paying back reparations? Paris Hilton is she invested. She still probably gets a percentage of what, Kim, what Kim Kardashian, does. bro. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she probably. St- yeah. There's no way you're telling me not. that all of a sudden Kim Kardashian popped. No. And she don't get. And Paris Hilton is responsible for, uh, for Kim that. Kardashian's success. At this point. Now that Kim Kardashian has over 15 years of Guarantee you, bro. publicity. Guarantee you, bro. Do you think there's still a check? That's just like that's just like Guarantee when you get you, royalties. That's, that's just like when you get royalties. She's probably still getting a cut of something or, from her. Or the or it's up. Or it's up. But I, I'm guarantee you Paris is good. Or she probably had Kardashian's like work. a or it was like this is it's like a lump sum. This is what you this is this is my number. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? They. I really wish don't. being a, a you know a Wendy fan that she would have did something like this, and then there could have been three personalities running, and then she gets money now. I think Wendy was so controversial that it would 
I I feel like it would have been hard for anybody to want to work with her because she was wrong about she that. was she was very um very just nasty like she wasn't on I don't know if that's her real personality and if that is then she's a nasty person but even on like television like just the the things she spews and it's just like you just spew negativity or you're just giving backhanded compliments so why would somebody want to come work with you or take over your do you know what I'm saying do I don't want to act like that on TV I don't want that personality type of thing well you saying I mean and that's what I'm saying. I, I, she definitely had to do some changing and growth. And, and, and I mean, like I said, we're talking about this, but this is lessons learned. Yeah. I mean, and if that's her personality, that's her personality. But the thing about it is, if that's your personality and that's your character, that's you're not a nice person. Well, no. Yeah. But I think I, I think what I kind of like focus on is that, like. Maybe she just truly, truly enjoyed her craft and like there's not necessarily um like that arena is is where she where she wanted to keep evolving in like not everybody wants to be quote unquote a ceo so like taking wendy out of the picture like let's say let's pick another field like Nicki minaj like Nicki minaj has been the game for longest has cemented her her space but i'm i'm unaware if there's like a barbie company or bro i'm so glad you brought up Nicki minaj she's doing the same thing and and but in comparisons to she, wendy or she's doing the exact same thing as wendy also, williams she's cannibalizing herself she doesn't have no allies in in, in female rap I'm about and to I say would, and look I at would, these people's personalities Nicki is not a nice person yeah nobody wants to people that have worked with her she's nasty but yeah she's peep, not nice peep, too forget the being nice it's all about putting your implementing yourself into the next generation and if we're going to keep it wrapped wayne did this perfectly wayne was part of cash money yep. but he had the age where it's like i'm gonna do a uh, something that's for that's for me right and then i'm going to sign the drake and the Nicki minaj wayne is forever going to eat oh for sure Birdman is forever going to eat for because sure. of that decision right so putting your you don't want to be a ceo i understand like i don't think i don't think wayne is the best ceo he's not you know what I'm saying? But he has people around him that like Wayne does not have to put out an album ever, ever. again because he has these two ever. these two arms. Now, for me, Nikki should be doing the same thing. Nikki should be, yo, Lotto, Ice Spice, Cardi, uh, Meg, we all cool. And whenever there's beef, we all we all lock in and clean us up however we gotta do it so that we can make more money. And this is the record label I want y'all to be on. Or find talent. But guess what? For some reason, like I said, it's not. I don't know why they don't do it. I don't understand. Drake is a Canadian that got signed by a New Orleans nigga. How does that make sense? Well, ain't his dad from who? Berman? No. Well, his, his dad, actual father with the mustache. From Tennessee. Oh, uh, oh, Drake's dad? Yeah, his real dad. Or somewhere else. I don't understand the correlation. That a New Orleans label signed you. I mean, because he, I mean, he, I mean, he this was also is dropping Texas ego, too, so. just straight business, bro. I'm trying to make money. I know you're talented and you're talented. Yeah. They got t Wayne signed to the biggest artists in our generation right now. Yeah. That's yeah, he's, crazy. He's forever going to, he's forever. That's crazy. Going to so now when money. you say like, um, and not to, not, not to try to argue, but it's a, it's a good conversation. Like I'm not trying to say that you don't want to be in the CEO realm or whatever, but you definitely want to make money stretch. So if you want to, you want to, you want a drip of some residual. Right. So why not use your talent of, I'm like, Wendy, I'm a good orator. I know how to speak. I know how to garner attention. Make a platform. Let me give that to somebody else. Yeah. So that when Let's I get see. sick, because I can't ball forever. Yeah. I get sick or something happened to me here. But, and then you still have my, my, you got the resources, my child, you got the infrastructure, you got everything. Eat. My child's going to eat. That got to be motivation for something. I'm not saying you got to manage me every day. But yeah. allow me to have this kingdom. You give me mentorship and a piece of your funding. I'll give you money on the back end. You still do your thing. We affiliated. Come on my show. Do an interview. Blah, blah, blah. Isn't that like an agent? You know what I'm saying? Like you got somebody that just gets manager, a percentage. Agent, your manager, agent, you know, pro, all of those, I don't know. All of that stuff. But, it, but, but I just don't understand like how do we let this slip, bro? Like, I, you know what? I feel like it goes back to the episode when we talked about that crab in a barrel mentality. Yeah. I don't, you don't want to see somebody 
doing what you're doing or doing better than you or they look at we look look at everybody as competition instead of it being like an opportunity or you know what I'm saying to make sure that like you said you have that residual income ain't nobody think about that it's like nah this is my money you're gonna have to come up the way that I came up and it's like whoa if nobody gave you a chance you wouldn't be here either so I'm saying you wow because like you think Warren Buffett care about what um Mark Zuckerberg is doing Elon's no, doing guess what don't. he's just buying pieces of your company yeah, I mean... He's just buying PC company. And I also think that it's just... I feel like... I don't know how, how far back the this this goes. And it's just been ingrained. This this mentality in a way that um, the culture is. I don't know how far back it goes. I just think that it's just something that... Nobody is willing to just change. I think it goes back to like just... When entertainment shined a light on us, right? It's always been... What do the white people want to consume and there could only be one whether it be like when sammy davis is out whether it be like oh we're all gravitating to ali at this point sugar ray at this point or whether it be like um i don't know like the the whatever the the white people are paying attention to or that money is it they, there could only be one mm. and i feel like if everybody kind of change your business mindset around on I just need to be as good or be the best product and everybody else is going to pay attention to me or I'm going to feed my black market. Right. I think that's what should be the focus. So like if you um, let me try to like play this one out like Kings of Comedy, right? DL had a show. Steve Harvey had a show. Mm -hmm. Said was obviously with Steve Harvey. Bernie Mac didn't have a show. But Bernie Mac was probably the most talented comedian out of all of them. You talking about at that time? At that time. Show, yeah, Bernie Mac show didn't come out. Gotcha. So if you remember in the Kings of Comedy, there was a skit where they were playing basketball. And then um, Bernie's like, America, why y'all scared of me, man? Don't be scared of me. I want a show too, man. I want TV. You remember that part? Just look back. There's a skit where he does that. And then, um, you know, show does well. Uh, Bernie's jokes are kind of crazy, but the whole the whole show is based on that sketch, and where the the punk boy, where it's really supposed to, he Bernie was making gay jokes is he turns into a nerd, mm -hmm. so then it's digestible for America. Yeah, but the the part where I'm like I'm focused on is Bernie's just like I'm gonna be the best version of myself. I really don't need help, but I'm gonna use this as a platform. So crab in the barrel mentality could be I'm gonna. Y'all got TV shows. I'm just going to take a dump on y'all and like talk about how bad y'all are, blah, 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 and not hustle for my show on Fox. But rather what Bernie did was just like, I'm going to learn from what y'all just did yeah. or how, what y'all got going yeah, on. Take it own. back and then let's let's pitch a show. Yeah. Or y'all thank y'all for giving me the platform and now I could, I could put a show together. Yeah. I you see it. what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, mind you, my my what I'm saying is like, there were multiple shows going on between all those comics, mm -hmm. but then Bernie just created his crap and his product to get himself up there. So once again, like I just, I just feel like the concept of Steve, Steve Harvey being the WB, I forgot what, where DL was, but like, I think that was eventually like UP, when the U, UPN or something like yeah, that. Yeah. When the crabs like create a chain mm -hmm. and then now they could all crawl up. Cause that's how it's supposed to be at the barrel. That's eventually what we got to build. Right. I don't care where it started, but like, if I have a job and I set up a company, how could I put y'all on in any aspect? Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, you need yeah. part-time work? Like, I feel like there should be a community where I could do that. Yo, you need this, blah, blah. Okay, work here on Saturday. If you if you need it, it's here. If you don't, blah, blah. Right. Or, yo, you want to work here and do that? Or you throw me a bone and you'd be like, yo, yo, I got this person that wants some financial coaching, blah, blah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's how it should work. But it doesn't. But for some reason, I don't... And... and the reason why it doesn't work now for us is because we just don't have the opportunity. We don't have the mindset. We don't have the, uh, we don't know how to build it yet. Yeah. Like we all love each other in the room. Right. But we just don't know how to build the link or the chain yet to make, yeah. take everybody else out of this bull crap. Right. Well, in every, at every step there's, there's <laughs> integration. Mm -hmm. So like, and there's this not an emphasis of like a form of separation, but it, it's just a reality of where like, even if you have, a collective group, there's always going to be somebody that's still seeking kind of this, like whether white approval or, um, 
kind of like a selfish mentality, which I a lot of times get aligned with like kind of the Eurocentric way of thinking. But um, we have strayed from our community mindset. And so it's like going back to the crab in the barrel concept. A lot of times we get in spaces where um, where there's the reward. It can only be given to one. Yeah. And so now we have to like on top of working two times as hard for this white approval is additionally like I can't have anybody take With away me. from just the little that we already like is available for me to receive. Yeah. Correct. So we become um, more competitive mm-hmm. um, in that space versus like, all right, we both shine and we both should be rewarded. Yeah. Like we don't, we, we've put less focus on everybody wins or everybody eats, everybody yeah. supports for the fact that like we still are seeking and that's because they put us again. They put us against each other like that. Like he said, like you, the, you, you, they have the they have the money, right? And yeah. they're they're the ones that are here, so they're put on this pedestal. So they've basically pit us yeah. together to make us have to feel like I have to. We it's only one that can do it, and we're only going to take one black person. Right. So out of the hundred of y'all that's here, yeah. But see, that's you know what that, I'm saying. So now also, we gotta now I gotta be better than you instead of saying, "Oh my God!" Like let's let's put our minds together yeah. and be a powerhouse, be that one unit. But no, but you we see, can't that's do also that. the facade. That that's not real. Like to me, when you look at like um, white approval, that like I think about when Wayne dropped. Um, I think it was was it what, what song was Lollipop on Carter? I don't know. Maybe Carter too. So if we're if I make a mistake, one of the correct. Carters. So Carter, <laughs> Wayne crossed over when Lollipop dropped, and that means white people are listening. And now you're gonna sell a million because they have the buying power. But Wayne was already rich. Wayne Wayne was culturally bling bling, back that thing up. He was already famous. Hood, Hood black, rich. black rich. Hood rich. And that's my problem. We're not happy with being black rich. <laughs> because hood rich don't really get us nothing. Bro, are you serious? If you think back to what hood serious? rich what hood rich signifies. I'd rather be Lil Wayne back that thing up rich right now. <sighs> so what are we talking about? Here's okay. a, here's another part. Remember Dolomite? Yeah. Dolomite is the is everything we should strive to be. And this is what I'm saying. Even when when I'm doing this this ting stuff, like I want it to be something where black people, my people, can tap into. Yeah. They pay me for entertainment <laughs> or financial service, whatever is going to be the product I decide. <laughs> and then that's it. Now, if I if I get white customers, that's fine. But this is a product for my people. Yeah. And guess what? They have the smallest pockets. I understand. There's not a lot of us. But guess what? As long as I got 80% of the demographic, I think I'm doing okay. And then it's up to me to take this money and then parlay it to something else. Yeah. That's going to yield me more bread. I, I, I don't th- understand why we're not seeing that. I understand what you're saying. I get it. I, I hope. I don't think the it. masses are seeing it, though. No, man. of course the masses aren't, aren't understanding it that way and they're not seeing it that way. And I don't know what it's going to take to get them to be on... Son, Bernie Mac had a whole variety show in, in Chicago before anything. He had a whole late night show in Chicago, bro. Godfrey and all these people worked on it. Like, nobody knows that. And it's unfortunate. I, I don't know how to get, like, get people to look at these independent markets and get this entertainment. Because that's all we care about, bro. If you funny, you good. We're going to rock with you. Country yeah. Rain, we're going to rock with you. If we get you on Facebook, we get you on Facebook. Joe Budden, YouTube, we rock with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't need, I don't, I don't know, I, I feel like you don't need the white approval. It makes you more money, I do understand. But guess what? The white people only like what black people like at the end of the day. <laughs> or what makes black people look crazy. They like that. They eat that up. I don't think that's true either. I don't think that's true. Coonery. I don't eat think that's true, up. bro. And I think black They don't Look at the island boys The island boys Them twins I'm an island boy Done You remember them dudes With the, the big 
blonde plaits? <laughs> Bro, I'm... They were... I, I only remember that part that you just said. I don't know nothing else about them. Do you, no, this cool. Isn't. I just... I want to make sure y'all know. this might have been a few years ago. They are white boys. They are white boys. <laughs> Trying to be black. And Cultural they look like... They, 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 they look like they're doing a bad impersonation of Kodak Black. Ha! You said Tom Hanks, son. That's hilarious. And... They, white America don't care about these dudes? Yeah, no. Uh, does black America care about these dudes? No, we never did. So guess what? Guess what they're doing now? They're on OnlyFans. Touching each other. How you know that? They're getting clowned online. <laughs> I'm like, wait, how did you know that? Touche, yes. <laughs> I was it. No, see? <laughs> Touche, uh, he added too much to it. That's not what I meant. <laughs> leave, it, leave it to a black woman when I'm embarrassing black, white males. When I'm embarrassing white males. Marcus was thinking it. I just said it. He, he was thinking There's it. There's literally a clip that goes viral of them um, okay, trying to I, fight a podcaster all, all because did, he asked him what y'all doing on OnlyFans. All I did was ask the question. Marcus was thinking it and I was just like, well, how did you know that? Well, that was very that was that was very know. that was very specific and I was like wait how do you know that yeah, that's what they was doing but okay I wasn't you know hey, that's cool I'm just saying but look black people didn't think it was cool oh they look like um what's that boy that died trying to look what? like they trying to look like juice world ain't that his name with the tattoos on the face and stuff they do not look like Jesus. I said they're trying to look like him no, it's a Kodak. it's a combination of all of them as a matter of fact oh lord there's a combination of all of them but you see Rest what I'm saying to him, we, we, oh, they're white they should be able to capture the white market they don't no they don't want to see them act like that that's because you that's said they like what, coonery they like black coonery not white coonery white people do not okay pie, they do not I promise you they do Here's right. what I'm I'm make it clear. Well, maybe they black people like maybe black people maybe black coonery. people is the ones that like the coonery, and that's why black people still doing crazy. No, attention and purchasing is two different things. A like and buying a product are two different things. I understand that. That's why I keep telling y'all. Y'all think sexy red is making money? I have no no no. I mean, y'all swear to God. I want to see her do a stadium show by herself. I didn't say that. I didn't say she would. No, no. I, I'm, I was about to I'm say, saying, wait. I, I want to see her do a show by herself. Oh, she's never going to sell out a okay, show. Okay, so then I don't. I don't know where this money's coming from. She. I don't. I don't even think she dropped the album yet. I don't well, know. She, she's pregnant. Or is she? What that means? She's been twerking in her videos. Pregnant. Her sex tape. She didn't had even the baby. Go platinum. Or, she had a. How do you know these things? <laughs> you got to stop. You gotta start with that follow up. What, <laughs> what is that? You make him look so wild. <laughs> because I'm so. He be catching me off guard, guys. This is, our, this is so. Because what you asking is like, yo, legitimately, yo, that's a fair question, yo. Because I'm so confused. We got the same social media. Like, we on the same internet. Ooh, I heard this? about it as well. I heard I've about never it. heard about this. Like, what is happening? Yeah. I'm not going to let you do this to me. That's why I'm, I'm not saying, uh, Is that oh the peak God. of uh, Booty Hole Brown? Uh, what? <laughs> When I was when Why I was out, have to use that line of all because that's that's what the kids know. I am not trying. First, guys, I'm not trying trying to play him. I, he just be catching me off guard with saying stuff. I don't, and I'm like, where did you where do you find this? Like, what internet are you on? My God, <laughs> no, it, it definitely it was like I remember because it was just like who was in the sex tape with her, her baby dad. Or is it just some random person? She ended up pregnant afterwards. I don't know if that no, was her baby, baby, was dad. baby dad. I don't know. Nah, Fuck we, my baby. We dad. would hope so, but no condom. Yeah, no. Nah. I mean, but to them, but to them, she got money. But to them, she got money. No, but you you missed the joke. <laughs> <laughs> Should have saw. Her. Clearly, he saw her as a uh, viable mother. Yeah, he did. She yeah, that's that's what he was thinking. <laughs> she gonna take she gonna take care of them kids. Dog, top songs in the top one hundred, sixty six and sixty two. This is y'all hero. <laughs> <laughs> this is y'all hero. My God, I cannot stand. This is your king. When I tell you, she makes my butthole itch. Yikes! 
No, Where thank you. Where did you go? Where did you go? Because I don't like, like, I just, she just gives me the ick. She don't it's, look clean. That's why I said she make my butthole itch. Like, it's just not, this is not, like, how is this? The music in it today is in the shambles. Like, I just don't think that that's just crazy. I don't think people gravitate to her for the law. Because of the coonery. The ratchetness. The ghettoness. Because there she are no money. sexy reds everywhere. Yeah. That's perfectly fine. The audience We is are now... very much aware that there are sexy reds everywhere. But that does not mean that you give them the audience a platform now... like that. A whole bunch of Kira Jones. You missed that one. I did. I don't know who that is. <laughs> well, nice she is. Uh, nice she is. Uh, do we? Are a we? Hump al- a half we, a lump. Half a lump. Good job. <laughs> what do we do now? Like, do we? Let's close out with the Wendy. Do we feel bad? Do we feel good? Do I feel wanna... conflicted uh, until I see the documentary. I didn't watch it either, so I'll check it out. Yeah, I, I can't really give a, a solid stance until I watch the documentary. So. Obviously, for me, it's a human life. I feel like I hope she's I hope she's okay, and like whatever money she needs, I hope they give it to her responsibly. But I know she has a drug problem and all type of stuff, so, so somebody got to watch out for her. Um, I don't feel either way. I don't wish bad on her, but I don't. You know, you gotta what I'm saying? feel a way. I just it like it's unfortunate that you have dementia. There you go. But that's about it. Mm-hmm. I mean, because un- the, the crazy part about it is sometimes um, when you lead a certain life, certain things happen. It's just that's just how it how it goes. Um, but that's I got to watch. I mean, I don't think I'm not actually I'm not even going to think I'm not going to watch the documentary. Um, you already saw it. No, I saw. Snippet, oh, no, I saw snippets of it from TikTok. So it was only it, I didn't see the it, it in its entirety, but it's not something that I want to watch because I'm like, I don't know what's the truth and what's fake. You know what I'm saying? Like, Yo, Wendy looked that. like she was one of them aliens. Off, uh, but she has, a, but she also has like the, that, that I think it's like hypo, hypothyroidism. And one of the symptoms is bulging eyes. So. Sure. I'm, I'm telling you, that's what. I definitely heard thyroid. It's like, that's a, that's a symptom. I, I could pull it. I'm gonna pull it up so for you. when we Just, just from the eye part. So I know that I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all right now. You know how I don't believe in pre cum. Oh my god! <laughs> and it's been a shot of discourse, guys. They were out. I don't believe in no thyroid issues, bro. Thanks for leading us out. I don't believe in that. What? I don't believe in thyroid. Do you know what a thyroid is? I don't think it's this. It's a part of your pituitary gland, sir. Your pituitary gland is very important. Oh my god! Let me show you what I'm talking about. Cause you just. <laughs> He's like, I don't believe in thyroid issues. What, boy? You I just... blame everything on moon stars, thyroids. Like, <laughs> wow. What are y'all talking about? You said moon star. The time you were born. <laughs> thyroid. Oh yeah, we stocked a little bit. <laughs>